Hello, I'm Jeff Siegel. Welcome to SantaAnita.com. Welcome to our Saturday video seminar as we go over all 10 races on the Santa Anita program. Good card today. Start things off on the first race with a six furlong claiming event. Like number four, Via Verde as our straight play and rolling exotic single in the first race. And a John Sadler switches to his go-to guy, Joel Rosario, dropping a notch in classes Via Verde, coming off a sharp effort uh, in a highly rated race, training well since. He looks all set to fire. I like number four, Via Verde, uh, to get the job done in the first race. And again, we'll use him as a straight play and rolling exotic single in the first race. Number four, Via Verde. Second race, another claimer. This is one for Phillies and Mares in for 12-5. And uh, I like number seven, Lost Profit, as a straight play and rolling exotic single here in the second. Now, she is 6-5 to five on the morning line, so obviously not a lot of value. In fact, no value here at all. Uh, I do think she's going to be very tough. First off, the claim for Kitching Man, even though she's moving up in class for last race against bottom runners, very impressive. And uh, from where she's drawn outside, uh, she should be able to get a great pace prompting or forcing a uh, pace forcing trip. And she obviously likes this track, doing well, and there's no reason to think that she can't repeat despite the double jump in class with Rosario riding her back. Let's go with Lost Profit. Probably too short to play straight. But if you're playing rolling exotics like an early pick four or a rolling pick three or an early double, number seven lost profit looks like the one. Number seven lost profit, top selection in today's second race. Third race, six and a half down the hill, and we are going to look at two horses here, two main contenders. They are numbers five and nine on your program. Number five is he's a dance star. Nine is really uptown, so an exact box, if you would like, between numbers five and nine. He's a dance star, although been kind of a money burner in his short and brief career, but he continues to train well, and I think he's going to rebound today for Sadler. Uh, he's a horse that uh, should be in a good stalking position. I think he'll be able to finish today. Not a great field. Continues to work well. Look for his best effort to date by, by number five. He's a dance star. But he's got to beat number nine really uptown. Uh, coming off a claiming win for Jenny Green. Uh, earned a huge number, a career top fig when he won that race. And if he can run back to that race today and Flory stays aboard, I think number nine really uptown is going to be the one to beat. Likes the course, obviously. Good outside draw, good pace prompting style. Number nine, really uptown. It's going to be tough. Let's use them both in an exact box and use them both in your rolling exotics. That's number five, he's a dance star. And number nine, really uptown. Fourth race is a claiming event. And uh, again, we have a short priced favorite here. And number four, Ascot's high flyer for Ron Ellis. Very good effort at the level last time out. If she can turn into a like, uh, she's going to be tough to beat. She was beaten, though, in that last race. Uh, it was a good effort for her. Uh, she didn't break. Uh, she probably was best when beaten. So on the basis of that, she does look like the right one. However, a uh, short price on the morning line, no real value here. Uh, I like her as a rolling exotic single, but you can pass the race just as well uh, because there isn't any real value in the fourth race. So Ascot's high flyer, our top pick. And you can sit it out if you'd like. Fifth race, uh, six and a half down the hill. This is the Irish O'Brien uh, for Phillies uh, coming down the hill, Cowbreds. And there are three main contenders as I see it. They are numbers two, six, and eight on your program. Number two is Logical Single. Six is Shanine. And eight is Lanez. So two, six, and eight. All three have a right to run well, and any one of the three can win. Logical single is in good form here, and I, I think that this Northern California invader should be able to take that Northern California form and transfer it here. Uh, how she'll do down the hill remains to be seen. Uh, her one grass race was good, but uh, I think she's going to be forwardly placed, and uh, her numbers are, make her a solid fit. She First or second, six out of ten times. you got to use logical single, I believe, in your exotics, and she's a very fat 15 to 1 on the morning line. Use number two, logical single, at a good price chance. Number six, Shanine, obviously in sharp form. It's won two in a row, both down the hill, so you know she likes the, uh, the course. She's got a good stalking style. She continues to train well for Leonard Powell. Nakatani knows her well. She's going to fire again. Number six, Shanine, perhaps the one to beat. But the one that I actually like the best is number eight, Lanez. This is a class filly who's turning back in trip. I like her better as a sprinter. She's got some really good turf sprint, uh, well, sprints under her belt and one really good turf sprint. That's when she won the Cal Cup distaff over the grass at Hollywood Park. 
won that very cleverly. She's trained well since. I like where she's drawn. If Lanez returns to her best form, she absolutely can win this race. 9-2 to two on the morning line. She'd be our top selection, number 8, Lanez. But let's use all three in an exacto or trifecta box, numbers 2, 6, and 8. Again, slight preference to number 8, Lanez. Moving out of the sixth race, five and a half claimer, Phillies and Mares. Uh, this is a bottom rung claiming event, and the uh, contenders, as I see it, number two, Poetic Riches. Also, number six, Haven's Lake. So uh, we'll go with just two horses here, numbers two and six. If you're playing the Rolling Exotics, let's hopefully we hopefully we can get through it with just using these two. Poetic Riches is uh, backing up in trip. Uh, she had speed going seven eighths and faded. This is a five and a half furlong dash. She might like this shorter distance a little bit better. The, the switch, the major switch to Bejarano is a positive uh, factor for her. So look for an improved effort uh, from Poetic uh, Riches. And then number six, Haven's Lake uh, for Spar and Rosario coming off a nice win at the level, at the distance. If she can turn into a like, she's going to be tough right back. So use number six, Haven's Lake. So two six, Poetic Riches and Haven's Lake. Use them both in an exacta box. Use them both in your rolling exotics. Seventh race is a Santa Ana for Phillies and Mares going a mile and an eighth in the grass. I can see any one of three horses winning this race. They are numbers one, three, and seven on your program. Number one is Malibu Pier. Number three, Turning Top. Number seven, Declared de Loon. So you can use all three in your rolling exotics and an exacta or trifecta box as well. Number one, Malibu Pier's got good tactical speed, a good inside draw. Ran well in the Buena Vista last time out going a mile. The extra distance shouldn't bother her at all. Malibu Pier and Bejarano should get a great trip, ground-saving trip, and it absolutely has to be used. That's number one, Malibu Pier. Number three, Turning Top makes a major switch from Bruce, Bruce Blanc to Joel Rosario. She had the rail last time out, and, and for whatever reason, Blanc took her all the way back to last, lost all his tactical position. She came running late, but it was much too late. Now she has that race under her belt, second off the layoff, switching to Rosario, more distance. Look for a smashing performance today from turning top. Maybe the one to be. And then the class mare, number seven, Eclair de Lune. A little bit disappointing in the megahertz and overnight stakes. She was beaten that day at even money. But, you know, she's got that back class. She won the Beverly D grade one last summer, and she continues to train well. I think she'll make a forward move today, second off the layoff for McAnally. And uh, so use number seven, Eclair de Lune. So one, three, and seven. Malibu Pier turning top and Eclair de Lune. Slight preference for me goes to number three, turning top. But I'll use all three in the Rolling Exotics. Eighth race, maiden special weight for three-year-olds. Got a smoker in here, number six, McLean's Music. First-time starter uh, by Distorted Humor in the Steve Asmussen barn. Really has trained like a high-class colt, and I think he'll come out and, and, and prove it in his debut. He is 5-2 to two in the morning line. That's number six, McLean's Music. All cranked up and ready to go. A very hot prospect, and he should show that in today's eighth race. We'll make them a rolling exotic single. In today's eighth race, that's number six, McLean's Music. Contenders include number three, Meadow Road, who's got the good race under his belt with a high figure for Richard Mandela. And then the bottom horse for Baffert, a first-time starter named Flight of a Lifetime, was also trained like a runner. But of the three, uh, McLean's Music looks like he could be something special. Let's use him as a rolling exotic single in straight play in today's eighth race. That's number six. McLean's music. Moving to the ninth race, very good allowance race here for Phillies and Mares. This is a two other than. And uh, in looking at this field, there are three main contenders. They are numbers one, two, and five. Number one is Crisis of Spirit. Number two, Excellent News. Five is St. Isabel. So an exacto or trifecta box here of numbers one, two, and five. Crisis of Spirit coming off a sharp win for Baffert against the lesser field. She could be very tough on the race. Also, number two, excellent news. This is another Baffert trainee. She was beaten a half length in a similar spot. She has races that uh, certainly make her a contender and switching to Rosario. And then number five, St. Isabel, the comebacker in the Mike Pipey barn. If she's ready, she could be tough. She is a thoroughly genuine and professional race mare. My only concern is she may be the kind of filly who needs to race herself into shape. She's 5-2, I respect her, uh, but, uh, and I, I'll use her in the rolling exotics, but I, I think maybe I prefer her the least of the three. St. Isabel, however, with Bejarano, definitely uh, good enough to win if ready. I'm just a little bit hesitant to say that 
Maybe she may or may not need one. So let's go at, make, make it one, two, and five in that order. Crisis of Spirit, Excellent News, and St. Isabel. You can use all three in all of your rolling exotics. Tenth and final maiden claiming event, $20,000 tag going seven-eighths of a mile. And uh, the three main contenders we are using here, number one, suitable attire. Also number four, make someone happy. And also number ten, Jordanelle. So one, four, and ten in this bottom rung maiden claiming race for Phillies and Mares. Suitable attire has had nine chances. That's the bad news. The good news is that she usually gets a part of it, seven out of nine in the money. And while she may lack a winning punch, she certainly has a right to at least get the board. So if you're playing the exact as the tries, definitely use number one, suitable attire. Number four, make someone happy. The comebacker, uh, getting Brees Blank. This is a filly who's got the right style for 7 eight. She doesn't have a whole lot of early speed, but she can't finish. And if she comes back just a little bit better than she left, she'll fit with these. Uh, so use number four, make someone happy. And then uh, number 10, Jordan Nell. I think this is the one I like the best. Uh, I like the fact that she's stretching out from 6 to 7. I think that's going to help her. She's kind of a steady, one-pace grinding type in John Sheriff's barn. Uh, once was cut out to be a very nice filly. Obviously, she's got her issues. Six-year-old maiden. Uh, but I think she can improve. Chantal rides her back. Good outside draw. And again, I think the 7 eighths Chistons for Jordan L will be right up her alley. So 1, 4, and 10. Suitable attire. Make someone happy in Jordan L. Slight preference to Jordan L. Use all three, though, in all of your rolling exotics in an exacto or trifecta box as well. That wraps it up for today. A good Saturday program at Santa Anita. Best of luck, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.